Welcome to the course on deep learning with Cafe2. In this section, we are going to learn the basic elements in Cafe2. In this section, we will first define the computational graph through example. A computational graph can be convolutional neural network, recurrent neural network, or a linear regression. So computational graph is a new way of thinking computational operations. It has a more powerful way of representing those kind of operations. So we will then introduce the workspace operators and nets in Cafe2. Those are the basic elements that would help you to implement a computational graph. And third, we will demo how to implement computational graph in the code using those elements. In this video, we will define the computational graph through example. Deep learning models can be composed like a Lego building. If you look at the left images, it is three layers of neural networks. It looks like you just stuck three layers together. So each layer in a neural network model requires forward and a backward pass. If you look at the explanations in Cafe 1, so in the famous examples of AlexNet, you can think of AlexNet is a simple computational graph, and each of the layer, for example, the inner product layer, it has been implemented like the forward pass and the backward pass, and it's basically a differentiable modular. And you basically compose all these differentiable modular together, you stock them together, and they form the computational graph, and you just plug in the loss, you just train the models. By that, I mean using backpropagation, stochastic gradient descent algorithms to search for the best parameters. Let's look at a simple computational graph example, a linear regression. So we are given variable x and output y. So the parameters here are w and b. So the mathematics form is y equals x times w transpose plus b. So the way of thinking a linear regressions using a computational graph is to break down the computational operations. We first break the first part of the computations x times transpose w into basically we get a u equals x times w transpose. We have another part which is y equals u plus b. So those are the two modulars you can think about. By breaking down the computational into these two modulars, we basically can implement the linear regressions using the Cafe2 library. So you can basically implement the x times transpose w as a convolutional operations, and the next operations, which is u plus b, which is trivial to implement. Assume we are going to have a set of x and y is a regression problem, so we can basically using stochastic gradient descent to find the w and b. To recall this video, basically deep learning models can be break down into several modulus. Each modulus is fully differentiable, and the backpropagation is the key algorithms in training deep learning models computationally trackable. So if we consider the whole models is organized as a computational graph, each layer is fully differentiable modular. One can update the model parameters using backpropagations. And if you take any computational graph, not only deep learning models, but like linear regressions, you basically can implement the arbitrary of such using Cafe2 library.